Hello, everyone. I am John Howe, the financial planner here at Generation Capital Management, and this is another episode of John's Top Tips. Today, we will be talking about two very common investment vehicles. These are mutual funds and ETFs. Now, a couple of things they have in common. Whether you're buying a mutual fund or an ETF, you're actually purchasing a small slice of a diversified pie. Um, both of these types of securities utilize the funds that investors use to buy shares so that they can turn around and purchase their underlying mix of investments that are within the funds. Um, also, each type of investment uh, can have commissions associated with them depending on where you buy them, depending on which account you buy them in. Uh, so be aware of that. And then also, both investment vehicles have underlying fees, and these are typically uh, for the management of the particular fund. Now, when it comes to just mutual funds, uh, we, we talked about mutual funds in one of our previous videos, and mutual funds have a team of people making investment decisions based on the particular investment strategy of that mutual fund. Um, mutual funds tend to favor what's called active management, but there are also some passive strategies in mutual funds too. Um, when the managers feel, uh, when the managers of the fund feel it's time for the fund to make a change, they'll place necessary trades uh, for that change to be placed in the underlying securities, the underlying uh, asset allocation of that mutual fund. Um, active managers can make the under active management can make the underlying fees a little bit higher than you'll see in ETFs. And another interesting thing uh, to note about mutual funds is that they don't actually trade until after the market closes. So if you place a trade in a mutual fund, um, expecting it to go off during normal trading hours, it's not going to, it won't go off until uh, after the market has closed. So if you place an order for that mutual fund um, and you're expecting it to happen instantaneously, just take a break, it'll be fine. And because of the way that that works, because of the way that the trading works on mutual funds, uh, they're actually traded, you input the trade itself in dollar amounts instead of in share amounts, which is different from ETFs. Uh, with ETFs, you actually input the trades as, uh, as share amounts instead of dollar amounts. Uh, ETFs have a few more important differences. Um, they tend to try to reduce expenses a little bit, so they use what's called a passive strategy. Um, and what does that mean? Well, it's sort of the opposite of active management, like what we typically see in mutual funds. Um, the ETF will typically select a, uh, a set of underlying investment and stick to it. They don't do a ton of trading. Um, it's, uh, it's designed usually to track an index. Um, or have a particular strategy, it sticks to that index or strategy, and it usually only makes changes to the underlying securities if something within the benchmark changes. Additionally, ETFs, um, as we mentioned, they trade during normal business hours. Uh, so you place those trades in terms of shares, and the trades happen instantaneously um, or as soon as they're exec executable. Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, so if you place uh, if you place that ETF trade, you should expect it to execute the way that uh, you know pot potentially a stock would execute. Uh, so that's pretty much all that there all the all the all the key differences, all the all the things to keep in mind um, when you're taking a look at ETFs and mutual funds. Uh, if you have any more questions, if you're interested in some more details, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're always happy to give you some information, give you some guidance, and let you know what some of the differences are between some of these securities. Again, my name is John Howe. I am the financial planner here at Generation Capital Management, and this was John's Top Tips.